Yo, what's going on, y'all? So we got another interesting video today for you guys to check out. So today's video is going to be about a man that goes off on his wife for not paying the mortgage. Let's get into the video. See, this is talking about why is it when I come home, I see a eviction notice on the front door. And look at my wife. Just in there acting like I'm home. Casually just packing stuff up while we getting put out. You mind telling me what happened? Yes. I bought the car sitting outside. Okay. I bought myself a Chanel bag. You bought yourself a Chanel bag, but you didn't pay for the mortgage? I wanted to do something. Are you crazy? Have you lost your mind? Did you really just sit here and tell me you bought a Chanel bag? Meanwhile, we were seven months behind all our mortgage. The lights are still on. For who? Not for us? The next person's gonna live in this house? That doesn't serve us any good. You watch TV, there's a remote. Where am I going to watch TV at? Outside? On the street? Look. You really sit yeah. here and act like ain't nothing going wrong and it's not a big deal and we're literally getting put out of our house. Do you forget how hard we work for this house? I, I stayed for years to put even a, a down payment on this house. I, I trusted you with my money. I, bought you something I don't care about that. Take it back. I don't want anything. I want my house. I cannot believe this. And you just acting like ain't nothing wrong right now. You, oh my God, like, we, are you kidding me? Well, you wanna help me? No, I want my house. Well, you gonna have another house. Where? Where? Not this one. This is the, this is the house that I want. We, well, we both getting put out. Yes, we're getting put out because you were irresponsible. I trusted you all this time. And you've been sitting here acting careless, spending money on clothes, Bags and, and and what is what is all this other stuff? Is that a, a computer? Like what what is going on? Yes. I, I can I'm really just really shocked by how cool and how chill you are about this. We have an eviction notice. We're getting put out. On, we don't have nowhere to stay. We don't have anywhere to stay right anymore. Help you pack? No. I can't even look at you right now. I don't even know if I want to be with you anymore. Really? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I think I might. Look, oh, really? And then leave. Go ahead. So you just don't care about nobody but yourself. If that's what you think. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is this is just crazy to me. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm connected to that house. We have to leave by tomorrow. Wow. So you might want to start. And you weren't even gonna say anything. I, I, I had to come home to an eviction notice. I've been at work all day, and I'm coming home to an eviction notice because my wife is down here spending money on Chanel bags instead of paying the bills like she's supposed to. Well, let me tell you, something. you don't do anything. You don't do. You don't have a job. I've been trusting you with my money. And that's why I have a computer so I can get a job. Well, you have. Well, it doesn't matter. It does matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter anymore. You wouldn't even have, you wouldn't have to do that if you were being with. All right, guys. So what do you guys think about this particular video? I'm going to go ahead and get my little quick little spill on it. I'm going to say this. That guy, there is no chance in hell you did not know what you were getting yourself into before all of this happened, fam. It was red flags popping up all, all this time. You just you chose to ignore them. And I'm going to say this. Fam, let her go. She said, listen, I got you a gift. That <laughs> woman said, listen, I got you a gift. He was like, you weren't even going to tell me? Like, we're getting kicked out on our tails tomorrow. And I'm just now finding out about this? That's why I say, man, most of y'all are out there. You're sleeping with the enemy, man. That woman don't give two is about you, about you know, all the work that you done put in. That man said, listen, I put a down payment on this house because this is something that I, I've been wanting. You know, I just got off from work, been working all these doggone hours, and I come home to an eviction notice. He's been giving her the money. She's been post she's she was supposed to pay them damn bills and make sure everything was straight. But instead, she been out there spending money on them damn Chanel bags and gifts and laptops and all this other stuff. Man, y'all better be careful. Fellas, you got you got to be more careful, man. I'm telling you, you're serious out here, dog. What you think, D? Ooh. Oh, look. Sound like you stayed a little too long. <laughs> he should have had, had his bags packed up a long time ago. Right. 
that she left her in that situation when she was being irresponsible. Mm. Had it been me, mm. she'd have been, she would have had, she would have had the division notice and she would have had to leave the next day. I would have had my own place. I'm telling you. A whole nother place. Good. Put that, switch, switch that name into her, into, uh, that, that place into her name, mm -hmm. and out of, out of bounds. Facts. <laughs> no. Once I, I was on the scene, once no back to me, no, no, no. I would have I mentioned it, three strikes you out, man. Mm -hmm. I forget how many times he mentioned whatever kind of uh, expensive mm -hmm. bag she, he was talking about, but no, mm -mm. we ain't got it like that. He's yeah. spending all this money. No, it, mm mm. And nah, couldn't, couldn't have been me. And I understand that people are busy. You know, people work long hours and everything, man. But listen, I'm one of those people. I'm still going to check. I'm <laughs> going to check and make sure if that money was not taken out of my account and it didn't go directly into something, I'm asking questions. Hey, yo, hey, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? I know rent was due $1,700 was supposed to go to Tom, Dick, and Harry, and it didn't go there. I seen that a large purchase was made at the damn mall for a Chanel bag. Like, what's going on? Like, I mean, come on, fam. You know this lady got a shopping habit. That thing don't just come from out of nowhere. I don't give a damn nobody say. You knew before you got with her that she was expensive. She liked nice things. And you're trusting that person to pay the damn bills? Come on, fam. I agree. He, he sound like a damn fool. Facts. But we want to hear from y'all, man. Y'all comment down below and y'all let us know what do you guys think about the situation. Fellas, what would y'all do in this situation? Let us know. All right? Y'all be blessed. Y'all be beautiful. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.